what is going on everybody TD presents here bringing you guys some Madden 25 ultimate team hopping into week number six and we're starting to think about an undefeated season I know it's early but the way these guys have been playing anything is possible it's gonna be Super Bowl or bust with these guys and you guys know we need a better slot cornerback right now we got Namdi he's not very agile so I grab somebody that is pretty agile and that's that Madden 25 all 25 Revis the new New England Patriot so I gotta get him on the team. Once again, we're taking on the Giants in MetLife Stadium. Our secondary's looking good, and our run defense has been excellent so far this season. Jamal Charles on second and nine. Makes a nice spin move. Definitely juked me out, but he has nowhere to go. There's several defenders there. Now on third and six, RG3 looking to roll out. We bring the pressure, and he ends up throwing an interception to Tracy Porter. And we're gonna go ahead, return this one down to the 32-yard line. And we are starting this game off perfectly. A great defensive stop. And then the first play after that, Eric Dickerson getting the carry, picking up some blocks. And he is going to go untouched into the end zone. So we started this game off. Couldn't have been any better. But my opponent comes right back. RG3 finds Demarius Thomas on a wide receiver screen. He's going to pick up a ton of yards after the catch. 55 yards to be exact. And now a couple plays later, first and 10, RG3 rolling out. And he's going to end up throwing another interception. Namdi, I love him out on the field. I didn't care for him in the slot. But if you need a number one corner, a number two, or a number four, there's not many better cornerbacks, especially for the price. One of the best 96 overall cornerbacks in the game, if not the best. So my opponent would go on to quit the game. And before we jump into week number seven, yesterday legendary packs did come out. No, I didn't get any. I'm probably going to save all my money. I'm not going to be opening up any more packs until the new Madden comes out less than two months away. I couldn't be more excited, but they did put the new Team of the Week cards back in packs for this weekend only. It was kind of their July 4th thing. A lot of people were asking me, how did you get that Colin Kaepernick? Well, he was a Team of the Week collection. You weren't able to get him, but now is going to be your only chance because that card isn't auctionable. It isn't tradable, so the only way you're going to get it is by pulling out of packs. So now we're jumping into week number seven, taking on the Redskins at FedEx Field. Eddie Lacy going up the middle, nothing going on. Second and nine, gets stuffed in the backfield. Lawrence Taylor making two plays right away. Now on third and 12, Michael Vick finds his receiver, but we break that one loose. So on fourth and 12, he's already going for it. Michael Vick scanning the field all day to throw, looks to take off, but Reggie White grabs him from behind, brings him down. And once again, our defense coming up big setting up the offense setting up eric dickerson for that halfback toss now in second and one brady dropping back to pass looking down the field rolls out to the right finds demaryus thomas makes a couple guys miss and he's gonna end up getting brought down at the one yard line and we're gonna end up going no huddle find eric dickerson and we take an early lead but you can see my opponent on the field goal attempt on the extra point attempt i should say he draws offside so i go ahead Go for two. I usually don't do that, but he was playing like such a cheese ball. I decided to go for it. You could tell he was pretty upset. He gave that one up, but his offense started moving down the field. You can see here, Revis ends up getting injured, and that seems to be a problem he has. He goes to the same exact play. Alshon Jeffrey once again, picking up the first down. Now in third and inches, Michael Vick going deep down the field, and Andre Johnson beats Deion Sanders off the line, picks up 45 yards. And now in second and goal, Michael Vick looking to the back of the end zone. Great bat away by Kyle Arrington. Third and goal. Vick in the pocket. Looks left side. Finds Alshon Jeffrey on the comeback route again. But he's short on the play. Fourth and goal. He's got his offense on the field. Michael Vick under center. Goes for the QB keeper. But Luke Keekley is right there to bring him down. So we're backed up in our own end zone. I look deep. And we can't find Randy Moss down the field. Had a good chance there. Tom Brady, if he had a better arm, that probably would have been a touchdown but he underthrew him quite a bit. That is a problem he has, but he doesn't have a problem slinging the ball down the middle of the field. Third and seven, Tom Brady, empty backfield, finds Demarius Thomas. These two have a connection. I don't know if you guys were subscribed to me, but a couple months ago when we used these two, they led us to the undefeated season and the Super Bowl. Here you can see Rob Gronkowski gets hurt, ends up fumbling the ball. Luckily, we came away with it, but our offense really stalled out. Didn't get much going, Adam Vinatieri, Going to kick through a 63-yard field goal. So we're up 11-0. Starting the second half. All the momentum's in our hands. And Michael Vick ends up throwing 
Another interception. Luke Keekley looking to return this one. Gets inside the five. Pushed out of bounds at the two-yard line. And we were going to go ahead. We were going to pick a play for Eric Dickerson. But before we could even do that, my opponent paused the game. And you guys already know what's coming next. Your peer has quit the game. So we've been playing excellent as of late. We're 7-0. Two more wins away from a first round bye. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Comment whatever you think. That's all I got for today, guys. I'm out. Peace.